as an attempt to expose young people to the STEAM professions. Science, technology, engineering, art, architecture, and math focused. Our goal is to allow these children to understand that these are professions that they can pursue. The middle school age is very, very tricky. It's, it's the years that define what students will be when they grow older. STEM is very important to us because it's important for our students in our community to know that they can go beyond just a regular job but have a career in engineering technology, which are the big push for the 21st century. I like just the experience of doing it because it's really fun. I'm a part of something so big and it's like really, it's an exciting thing for me to do. Starting today, you are going to build out your model city. So the base is very simple. It's a city block. The only requirement for this project, aside from ensuring that you're creating technology that decreases pollution in the environment, is that one of your buildings must have a green roof. We are trying to make models of making Jamaica Bay a better place because right now there's a whole bunch of runoff with oil. When we work together, we actually function as a group instead of working alone. I expected that we'd just be writing in a book, but it's actually more fun than that because we get to create our own ideas. We're trying to get them to picture a future city where the man-made environment is actually helping the natural environment. This program is highly effective at cultivating curiosity in these kids. You're going to see kids who are engaged. You're going to see hands-on experiential learning happening. But what does that mean here? That means you're breaking through cultural norms to really enhance and empower these kids in the learning experience. This is meant for them to learn the true aspects of teamwork. You see that they're using their communication skills, they're branching out, they're going outside of their comfort zone. That makes me feel comfortable and safe to know that people are there to help me. Engineering, technology, architecture are the jobs of the future. They're also the jobs that don't have enough workers. So to continue to work hard, to continue to do what you like to do and to have fun, but to do it in areas that most of the other students in New York City have been exposed to is something very, very special. This is the kind of story that has to get out. It's why I came here today. This is not a school of the past. This is a school of the future. I think a program like this is exactly what is needed in schools across the entire country. I think a program like what the DDC is offering does not have to be so oppositional to what's done in classrooms. It uses simple materials, it's using local ideas and problem solving. The DDC does a great job of training educators and creating curriculum that's not intimidating for other people to try. I'm surprised how excited and fun this was because it was really hands-on. I like the idea that there was a lot of material and a lot of stuff that kids really could grab everything and just create it in one spot. If you feel in that energy in the, in the class and what you're learning, if you bring that to the classroom, then that helps them become more engaged and, you know, that helps with the buy-in. <laughs> this is above and beyond just with the amount of information that they have, the amount of resources that they provide you, whether it's the links, whether it's the videos. It's not like you have to be an engineer to do this with children. You just have to have an interest and you have to want to be okay with things getting a little messy or chaotic or creative and then letting children have their autonomy to learn. I think that's the powerful aspect of it. We've hit a home run on this one here. Yeah. I'm excited. I look forward to growing it, expanding it, and really creating that next generation of leadership within technology. It's important to these young people's future, but it's important to the future of the city. And if we're going to be made this mosaic that we are, that everyone gets involved, and they're involved, and so the future's bright. You can't ask for a better model of community engagement than what we see right here. So this is the model, this is it. There's a dire, dire need for stakeholders to come together and really provide this kind of experience for the children. 